All right, welcome back, everybody. Broadcasting to you live from Neisner, and uh, this is a, a, a very special broadcast. And I must say, it's a bit of a bittersweet one because I think in the opening, I was just telling you about the emotional day I had yesterday, just driving on, looking. I, I can only imagine what the the residents in the area and the surrounds are feeling at a time like this, exactly a month ago when those fires hit Neisner, and uh, we all watched on in desperation. But here we are, a month later, and believe it or not, it's the Neisner Festival. Uh, it's taking place, it's happening, and uh, Neisner is open for business. Hashtag Neisner Rises. But let's just take stock about the last month, about what's happened, and uh, actually look at the actual devastation of the fires. Well, joining me now to talk about this, I've got the mayor of Neisner, Eleanor Bospis. It's good to have you, Mayor. Thank you very, very much for being our guest here on Morning Live. Good morning, Leanne, and it's great being here, and good morning to all the viewers. Yeah. How, how is everyone feeling in the area? I mean, it's, it, like I said, for me, it was a very bittersweet moment. I know we were coming for a bit of a celebratory broadcast, and yet, when you look around the town, it's, it, it's still hard to understand this devastation. I think, Leanne, uh, there's a lot of mixed emotions currently and also the reality of the fires and the impact of it has kicked in because now people have to pick up their lives, they have lost in some cases all they've had and they now need to rebuild but also to the municipality as a whole we have to now um, show the leadership in how we're going to go about pulling the town together and really rebuild the town in a way that people feel that you know there's hope for them in Eisner. Yeah. Yeah. Talk up, talk to us about the, the the actual figures. I mean, obviously the numbers are in. How how many houses were destroyed? What actually uh, is is the impact of these fires? Well, Leanne, we're looking at 1,466 households that have been affected. That includes both damaged and destroyed. Um, the an, an amount of 720 homes have been totally destroyed, and we're looking at about 97 businesses that have also been affected. Wow. I mean, that's job losses that uh, I imagine the amount of families that have been affected by this is devastating. But we're looking at the job losses of just close to 2,600, um, and that is as a result of people who lost their jobs because the uh, the you don't know the businesses that they worked for either was destroyed or it's damaged yeah what is what is happening I mean we are seeing that there, there are many relief funds we're seeing a lot of corporates are getting involved the provincial government is getting involved talk to us about that I think first of all Leanne we had to declare the area a disaster area and basically that opens ourselves up as a town to get funding from provincial and national government the provincial government have pronounced itself on the assistance they're giving us so they're looking at 75 million but that is not only for Neisner those are all the areas within in the province that has been affected mm -hmm. and you know close by uh, uh, our neighboring municipality Pito as well there were some fires in George and there were other uh, you know uh, storm damage we have a established a disaster Neisner disaster relief fund which is a separate bank account that we have opened and that bank account will be uh, administered by an independent auditor firm and we are just uh, about to announce the external committee that will sit on the panel to oversee that money which includes people from this very community and that that committee will then report to council as to how the funds are spent and they will obviously have oversight and that will also be open to the public in terms of what is happening in that particular fund just to say and a lot of the funding have not come in yet yeah. uh, you know big uh, financial institutions like our banks have pledged and committed to uh, to to uh, you know put some money in and and uh, you know give us assistance um, but they also have their own processes we have met some of the banks already and now we've put together plans uh, and we need to submit that they send their own people in they are also quite specific as to where the monies must be spent so it's not so easy and it's been four weeks so we We've been pulling that together, but with that, we have had amazing help from the provincial government, uh, MEC Ellen Wendy, uh, Minister for Economic, Economic Opportunities Department, have sent people down. The Premier have sent some of her very uh, top management uh, staff down. Yeah. And so we're very grateful for that because we need that. You know, yeah, yeah. we're a small town, um, and surely with the disaster, we, we simply 
are not having the capacity at some point and so we welcome the resources that are given to us at this very moment and I mean I, I could talk to you for so long but we're running out of time and I want to I, I want to just get um, I, I want to get it out there that that you are open for business I mean that's the reality is that uh, Neisner has never needed people to come and celebrate and join the oyster festival more in its history before and we are very much open for business um, yes there's devastation but it has been amazing how all the role players, especially within the tourism industry, came together and made sure that they send out that positive narrative out there that, yes, we have lost some of our hospitality establishments, but we have so many more that are still around and can offer and maybe fill the gap where the others were destroyed. Yeah. And that has come together. We have had tremendous um, support from SA Tourism, from Westgrove. Um, and I must tell you, there is no need for people to think that Neisner is not open for business. Yeah. We will rise. It's yeah. not just a hashtag. We will have challenges along the way. But I'm confident that this town, look, you know, looking forward, will will yeah. really rise yeah. and we'll be better and stronger than before. Fantastic. Well, listen, we wish you the best of luck. That's why we're here. Uh, we're here to support where we can, help where we can. And uh, I mean, it's, it's incredible the resilience that this area has shown. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us here on the program. The Mayor of Neisner, Eleanor Bospis, it's been a tough month for her, but uh, I think you're getting, you're getting there. Well done. <laughs> Everybody being much. very emotional here and, uh, and rightly so. It's a tough time, but uh, we're rising from those ashes. Let's take a break. We'll See you after this.